Uh, and meantime, an unprecedented four day conference on preventing sex abuse in the Catholic Church is underway right now at the Vatican. CBS's Seth Doan is there. Pope Francis opened the first global summit on stopping clerical sex abuse with a prayer and a plea, urging church leaders to take decisive action against predator priests. Listen to the cry of the little ones who want justice, Francis said. On the eve of the summit, the pontiff met with an abuse survivor from Poland who was assaulted by a priest when he was 13 years old. Victims of abuse are not allowed inside those meetings, but church leaders are watching videotaped testimony from survivors around the world. The wider Manila Archbishop Cardinal Louis Tagle says it's time for bishops and superiors to wake up to the harm caused by clerical sex abuse and cover up. True. We humbly and sorrowfully admit that wounds have been inflicted by us bishops on the victims. Since 1950, more than 19,000 people have made allegations of abuse by Catholic clergy in the United States alone. The Vatican's former top sex crimes investigator, Archbishop Charles Shakluna, said church leaders have a sacred duty to protect victims. It is important that every allegation is investigated with the help of experts and that the investigation is concluded without unnecessary delay. Vatican officials say the summit will focus on responsibility, accountability and transparency. Victims and the Pope are demanding concrete action. Seth Doan, CBS News, Rome. Both the eastern and western Montana diocese were forced to file for bankruptcy due to claims from victims of sexual abuse. In August of 2018, the eastern Montana diocese was ordered to pay 86 abuse victims some $20 million.